here in the French capital, these long queues are not to enter an Olympic Games match, but instead outside the official Paris 2024 boutique, with throngs of tourists desperate to get their hands on memorabilia. With one triangular character in particular gaining interest, the 2024 mascot, the Frige. Maybe I think it will, will be nice to, like, to, to put it home as a decoration. <laughs> I like the theme, good memento of the Olympics, but definitely, uh, I think it presents very well. Our cousin, he's uh, disabled, so we're just looking at also the disabled uh, uh, mascot of the uh, uh, Olympics. And that's very nice to see that they have the mascot with the disabled uh, piece on it. Seen all around Paris, adorning keychains, bottles, hats and plushies, the Frige mascot is a nod to the Frisian cap, a symbol of the French Revolution. Revived from Roman times when it was worn by slaves, both male and female revolutionaries adopted it as a testimony to their core values of freedom and emancipation. According to officials, the Frige's demand is due to its ease as a souvenir to take home. And priced around 30 euros, it doesn't break the bank either. The appeal of the mascot is because it is uh, an easy product to buy. There is no size, there is no uh, question of uh, it is for men or women. We expect to get more than 100 million euros of revenue for Paris 2024 based on, this, on the sales of the merchandise and official product. Whilst the mascot was initially mocked online for its appearance likening it to Doritos and human body parts, one thing is clear that the Olympic Frige is now going global.